tonight from Windsor, where, as you are aware, we are gathered for a marriage, one that unites the United Kingdom with the United States, a transatlantic special relationship that drags an old institution into the 21st century. No, not that over there. We'll be talking about what's going to happen there. We're talking about that other transatlantic marriage announced today. Kroger's deal with Okado. Kroger is an American supermarket that has very little to do with the royal family, at least as far as we know. But they are walking down the supermarket aisle with Okado, the British online retailer. Kroger will now start using Okado's specialist technology, things like automated warehouses and deliveries. It sent Okado's shares up 40%. It's all part of the strategy for Kroger to keep up with Amazon and Walmart, who are opening the online and owning the space. Now remember, Walmart, let's continue the analogy of transatlantic marriages. Walmart was married to Asda in the UK before they sold up to Sainsbury's last month. Less of a divorce, more of a trial separation. So, oh, thank you. Claire Sebastian is in New York. The Kroger deal with Ocado. Those of us, of course, from the UK are well familiar with, formerly with Waitrose, Ocado deliveries. Um, this is quite a game changer. That's a major US grocer is looking to a UK uh, company for technology and distribution. Yeah, this is a really big deal, uh, Richard. It, it gives kind of both companies uh, a really uh, big opportunity here. Kroger has the scale. It's this 135-year-old company with 2,800 uh, stores across the US, one of the biggest grocers uh, in the US. But it's really like many of its uh, rivals been struggling to get into the online grocery space. They've been trying to ramp up their digital offerings. They've been trying things like click and collect. Uh, but they really needed a partner to kind of supercharge this. And what Ocado has uh, is this so, technology, these warehouses with robots, with AI, things like that, uh, and all the kind of end-to-end -end technology that you need, from, from the apps that you can use to purchase things to, to the technology that, that organizes deliveries uh, and logistics. It's not enough, Richard, in this climate to just be a grocery company. You've got to be a logistics company if you're going to thrive in e-commerce. So, I remember the start of Ocado. Um, how did they get so good at what they do? This is all they do, Richard. They only do uh, online grocery retail. Uh, that's what they've been doing for the last 18 years. They have their own uh, kind of online supermarket where they sell their own brand products and, and Waitrose products as well, which has been their partner uh, from the beginning. But, but unlike many others who, who do the brick and mortar and the online, they only do this. Uh, and they've uh, you know, become a leader in this market. It's a very difficult business. It's wide open still in the US. Even Amazon hasn't cracked it yet. It involves things like right. cold so storage, like the difficulties of how to pack groceries so they don't squash each other even. Uh, so it's very difficult. And I think bringing them in uh, really will give Kroger a bit of a boost in this. And if we look at the Walmart deal, the Walmart, I mean, it was announced some weeks ago, but it's part of this same, um, if you like, architecture of change. Walmart sold its Asda um, subsidiary into a new joint venture that will be run by Sainsbury's. Walmart keeps part of, of it. Is this, was this Walmart running up the white flag? Well, it's a bit of a refocus uh, for Walmart. They're not actually completely selling out. As you say, they maintain 42% uh, of the joint venture of Asda and Sainsbury's, assuming, of course, uh, that it goes through the regulator and they get uh, some cash in return. But what we're looking at here, Richard, is the importance of scale when it comes to grocery. This is a low margin right. business at the best of times. Adding delivery just adds another layer of cost to those low margins. So having scale is crucially important. And I think that's what uh, one, of the, one of the motives behind that, uh, that, that Walmart deal.